We're going to begin with some breaking news out of Boston right now. Power problems affecting service on the blue, green, and orange lines of the MBTA wrecking havoc on the morning commute. This was the scene here at Haymark. You can see passengers just standing in the dark here waiting for their train to move after service was stopped. Sky Ranger showed the crowds waiting for trains in Malden. Take a look at that on your screen. You can see the platform was packed with commuters and we now know that power has been restored and regular service has resumed. But this latest round of trouble on the T has riders fed up. D I mean, understandably so, right? And this is another headache. For, yeah. hour. I mean, the timing couldn't be worse, but we're glad that you're joining us today. Good morning. I'm Bianca Beltran in for Melody Mendez. And I'm Colton Bradford. We have team coverage for you this morning. We're going to get to NBC 10's Jericho Tran in just a moment. She's live for us in Malden. Malden. She's been catching up with commuters this morning. But first, we're going to start with NBC 10's Oscar Margain live at North Station, where this issue, it, it really started. Oscar, good morning to you. Catch us up to speed on what exactly happened here. Yeah, Colton, a chaotic and for some even a just a crazy morning try to get to where they needed to be today, all because of a power outage that the MBTA said started here at North Station, impacting not only the green, but also the orange and blue lines. Lights out and power gone across most of the system during the Thursday early rush hour. It is frustrating. A lot of people were standing you know, a lot of people around. Causing commuters to change plans on the fly. What are you going to do? You take an Uber, or you go for a long walk. An outage that started at North Station and impacting the green, orange, and blue lines. We did stop several times and the trains were packed. Like, we were, like, side to side on that blue line. In many cases, doubling people's commute. I mean, it took about an hour to take a 10-minute ride. The MBTA dispatching repair crews and issuing a statement saying, as a safety precaution, protective systems opened related circuits breakers, temporarily discontinuing power flow. We apologize for the inconvenience and disruption during the morning commute. But for Logan Smith, it's got to be too much. And then they get mad at you if you want to hop the, the, tar the train or, you know, don't want to, you know, you say something, but... It just, you know, I don't know. I pay a lot in taxes to live in Massachusetts, and it doesn't seem like they're fixing the problem. And they just keep on raising the prices. They're like the Red Sox. They're not doing any better, though. You know, raise the ticket to the price of the Red Sox. We're not doing better. Same thing with the tea. It's a combination of people are frustrated, but also it's like another day on the MBTA. And that frustration lasted for most of the morning commute. The good news here is that power is back on. It came back on a few minutes after 9 this morning. Now we're just waiting for answers from the MBTA to explain what caused this outage in the first place. Reporting live from North Station, Oscar Margain, NBC10 Boston. Thank you, Oscar. Let's continue our team coverage now with NBC10's Jericho Tran, live in Mulden at the Oak Grove Station. Jericho, what are you seeing there? Well, right now we can see that power has been restored. It's not very busy right now, but the trains are working here. But listen, this is the last thing anyone wants to deal with when they're just trying to head to work. You already got to wake up early in the morning and then the train isn't working. That just adds to all of the frustration. And that is exactly what commuters told us today. I was waiting at the airport for a while. I let two trains go before I got on because it was so stuffed. This is Johannes Giesman. He works for UPS at the airport. He's like Reem Ferreira here, who left her home at 7.15. Around 9, we were at Sullivan Square, so it's like I'm going back home. After not making it to work for over an hour, she was frustrated. Just wasted one hour, so I could have just stayed home and start working. And with commuters stuck on the train for over an hour, some students even miss their classes. Pretty frustrating. I mean, I missed classes and I had to figure out how to get to the next stop and turn back around. So I just checked the MBTA website. We're told that the blue, green, and orange lines all power has been restored. But once again, it took hours for that restoration and caused several delays. That's the very latest here in Malden. Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston. All right, Jericho, thanks for your reporting for us. Service is back up, as Jericho was just saying. We're going to keep track of the T throughout the day for you. We'll have much more on what happened and what the T plans to do about it this afternoon on the News at 4.